The price of lithium has been going through the roof. Why? Because it's the key ingredient in rechargeable batteries used in everything from smartphones to electric vehicles. And as governments and companies increasingly move away from carbon-fueled economies, those batteries are in higher demand than ever. Traders and companies are betting that there won't be enough lithium supply to meet demand in the years ahead. There's actually a lot of lithium available all over the world. Most current production comes from Chile and Australia. While the extraction process is relatively easy, converting it into battery-grade chemicals is tough. Producers are also facing environmental pushback. <laughs> These factors have electric vehicle makers worried that they won't be able to secure enough of the metal, and that could hinder the transition to a low-carbon future. The future of transportation in our nation and around the world is electric. As big automakers like Tesla, Ford, and General Motors increase production of electric cars, demand for lithium is multiplying. Analysts expect the size of the lithium market to more than double by 2025. But right now, supply is tight. Once lithium is mined, which itself can take a long time, it's then sent to places like China, where the metal gets converted into the chemicals needed for batteries. China is the world leader in processing these battery-grade chemicals, so that's a major concern for US companies and politicians, but you can also see how shipping this stuff all over the world creates a very cumbersome supply chain. Still, companies and investors see lithium as a huge market opportunity as the transition to a greener economy picks up pace. Because some people are saying that lithium could be the 21st century version of oil and that securing supply is so important, you see a lot of companies really trying to invest and produce. And that race is really playing out everywhere because, again, lithium is abundant. It's just about getting it out of the ground and finding a kind of low-cost way and more sustainable way, really, to convert it into battery-grade chemicals. As more companies get involved in lithium production, analysts expect total supply from countries like Australia and Chile to eventually exceed demand and cool the price rally in the coming months and years. Mining giant Rio Tinto is one of the many players getting involved in the lithium market. The company recently announced an $825 million deal to buy a lithium project in Argentina. But projects all over the world are being met with opposition. In Serbia in December 2021, we saw a lot of protests and thousands of protesters in Belgrade blocking bridges to protest Rio Tinto's plans to invest over $2 billion there for lithium production. Environmentalists argue that mining lithium can require a lot of water and that chemicals used in production can leak into nearby water supplies and harm the surroundings. A Rio Tinto spokesman even told me that they're not really going to sacrifice the big picture for local concerns. One reason some investors are really bullish moving forward, if protesters and others concerned about the environmental impact won't let these companies produce the commodities that are needed to make the electric vehicles, then uh, people see higher prices and supply scarcity and volatility ahead.